يا ايها الذين امنوا قولوا بالله كتب عليكم الصيام فاصل has been prescribed for you كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم like it was prescribed for those who have faith الله اكبر We are having our white coat ceremony. You know what it is? Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. So, Ramadan Mubarak. Shall I start the holy month? And today is Ramadan day two already. And Alhamdulillah, so far so good. I pray that Allah gives us the energy, the sustainability, and then ibadah, whatever it takes to finish this Ramadan. So, Alhamdulillah. I hope you guys are enjoying it already. I know the first day is usually kind of really complicated started. But I'm sure along the line we're going to get used to it. And then we are going to even enjoy this month more. So we just finished our school in Fajr prayers. So I thought to start from Modern Series 2. Number 2 with you guys. So I'm cruising on my journey. With it all the good and bad mm. Cause blessings that I don't see Cause I want a lot to love me Okay, so we just arrived at the venue And then we are taking pictures outside And we go inside As white school ceremony Everybody is just here So you need to say hi Hello I'm just a fan our honorable chef, thank you so much. You're welcome. Place, Alhamdulillah, everything is gonna be okay. Hello. I'm very, very pleased to be here tonight, and I'm sure you are very happy to be here, and I'm sure you are happy it is your day today. Like, Allah, like, Allah himself, like, no, 
I do when the eggs can ask me to like first like how to this extent and this was where but you know what? God is just the one that knows why and then he like he will make us die. I've never heard that somebody has fasted and like fasted and died. Like I'm fasted and die. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I I want to talk about something that's so dear to my heart. You know what it is? Zakat. Like zakat. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm choosing zakat. Like, yeah, the third pillar of Islam that's to offer zakat. Zakat and Ramadan kind of go together because it's during Ramadan it's also both time to give more. Yeah. So, um, I've observed a few things about how people do zakat and I think I should share what I think about it. So zakat is like giving out in the course of Islam, like giving out from your heart, from your heart, giving out not because you have enough, not because you are sufficient or because you feel like what you have will just be, in, will just be okay for you and then you can share a bit of what you have to others to make an impact even though you are not satisfied but still giving something small from what you have wouldn't deny you a lot and will go a long way to help someone so that's what zakat simply is so there are rules concerning zakat yes but i'm not going so detailed into rules and quotes but just i'm just taking this from our everyday life perspective of how zakat is so during ramadan like this i think there are actually two main things that govern zakat from my view there are two main things so your intention and also the genuinity like how genuine your source of the zakat is whether it's money, it's kind, how genuine it is. So your intention in that, your intention should be pure. Like I'm giving it because of Allah. I'm giving it because I feel the person needs it. I'm giving it because it will make an impact. Not because um I want to be famous. I want people to know that I give. I want to be respected. I want something in return. No. But you are giving it because Allah has asked us to give. Because he has told us that we should give. And he will even bless us with more. And then concerning your your source of income. So your your source of income should be genuine. It should be from your hard-earned labor. If it's your savings, yes, it's your hard-earned labor. Like you've been able to save that amount and you are thinking giving it out. It's what you intend to do. Then Alhamdulillah, it's your hard-earned labor. If it is your, like you sweat, you've worked for it and you've had that money and you think sharing it is part of why you did it, then Alhamdulillah, you can, it's, it's a good source. But it shouldn't be something from, maybe something that you have caused pain to someone before getting it, something that you have harmed someone before getting it, you have cheated, you have gone through and uh, like, a very bad means to get it. There are lots of means that are not really good to get money. And then at the end of the day, you come in, then you want to give it out. And it's like, it's not worthy. It's not genuine. So your source of income should be from a genuine source. So let's come to who you should give. Who should you give zakat? Who is that needy person? In Ramadan like this, a lot of masjids, organizations, group of people come out soliciting for funds. Yeah, it's not bad you give to those people. Maybe that's your way of giving zakat. It's fine. But you and I know that there is that person, that's one person in your house, in your neighborhood, in your classroom, in your workplace, who cannot afford it was a simple subu, a simple iftar. And that person, you are looking at that person and you go to give the money to a masjid who will even end up adding it to their yearly savings. Masjids, yeah, they feed people, they do things. But like, let's calm down. Let's just bring it down. There are people that we know that are struggling. They won't tell you. They are not people that are beggars. It's not just those that beg on the road that are beggars. Some of the time, those even on the road are even better people. Like, they beg and then in a, in a day, they, they get the amount just to satisfy themselves. There are people that seem okay and they are living within their comfort. I think we should come down when giving Zakat.
Yes, before Ramadan, I think you should even plan how you want to give your zakat because by then you will know what amount you have in your coffex, you have in your accounts, and what amount you will use to cater for yourself, and what amount you want to give out. You can divide it. I have someone I want to feed, maybe two people in this month, maybe every Friday. Maybe I want to just with that one person. I just want to be able to. Pay, Give that person maybe one to one if that if they like we are we are fought for that person. Like, don't you think it's going to help even better? It's going to change your life. It's going to make an impact. It's going to put us like it's going to make the person happy. And you know how much Allah is going to even be happier for you. And you know what? Allah has said that if you if you give someone a meal to break or to fast. Like you are getting equal blessings as the person gets, and imagine you are getting your own blessings and adding someone's blessings just because you shared. Lots of people out there that are struggling through life, and people end up donating huge sums of money to organizations, to masjids, who Subhanallah only Allah knows where those monies go to. I'm not saying you shouldn't give. Maybe your intention is pure, fine. You get your blessings. But I just want us to be more realistic about these things. Let's give our immediate sound. Let's help those close to us in more. Those that are suffering in silence. I think that's, that, that would be much better. Basically, this is all I want to say about this. Like, the cat isn't something that's should be very huge. It doesn't matter the amount of money you are giving. And at the end of the day, like you're going to earn yourself a lot of blessings. So this is the amount of Ramadan. Let's do well to make good use of these little things. You don't really need dollars. You don't really need billions of thousands to do to give out as a cat. That that five CDs you have, that ten CDs you have, will make a difference. And then it will even extend and increase your your rank in general. It's not rich people that give. It is not rich people that give. It is content people that give. So be content. Identify who needs the zakat and give sincerely from your heart. May Allah accept our ibadah. May Allah accept our fast. Thank you so much for sticking here. And then this is still on my Ramadan series. It's the way that so many. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do as you hit the subscription button. Like this video and then give me a thumbs up. Thank you.